Ladies and gentlemen, baby faces, and all my true heels, this is Richie Moon, and this is Richie's Raw recap of December 21st, 2020 version of Monday Night Raw. And before we get into this marvelous review, make sure to like, share, and subscribe at True Heel Heat Wrestling for the latest ingredients. Monday Night Raw opened up with double champion Asuka and Charlotte Flair after the unconvincing best friends hug. Gotta give the people what they want. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler interrupted them, and then their interruption got interrupted by Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke, setting up a number one contender match. Dana Brooke looked strong in the match, but then she got choked out by Shayna Baszler. The faces through the heels over the top rope. Hey, you saved that for Royal Rumble season. And Flair and Asuka were on commentary, and Flair was being a true heel. WWE announced Legends Night because of low ratings. Bring back legends, I guess. The Hurt Business was in the VIP lounge gloating about all the gold they won from the New Day last night. Alexander still being outspoken, being really arrogant. Our truth photo bombed them in the back, and then the 24-7 crew ran down there. The Hardy, Bo the Hardy Bros appeared, said some words, and pretty much got squashed as Jeff tapped out to Bobby Lashley again. Angel freaking Garza back from years away. Do you remember that guy? He basically squashed Drew Gulak. Ricochet, oh man, Ricochet, one of the most exciting wrestlers, gets beat by T-Bar on reverse, go to sleep because that feud with Retribution is just so smashing. Jackson Riker, remember him and his forgotten? Yeah, that joke is old. He squashed Grand Metal League for reasons. RKO bragged about murdering a man. Randy Orton came out there. You'd think he'd be laying low after literally an attempt murder, but no, he's out there gloating and bragging about killing the fiend. And then the lights go off. And then when the lights come off, Little Miss Bliss is in the middle of the ring on a swing set. She promised that if the fiend does come back around, that he'll be in his final form. The, the fiend did tweet a pic of a cocoon. You know, he's very cryptic with his messages. Next up, we have Asuka and Charlotte Flair up next in a tag team match against Peyton Royce and Lacey Evans. And this match is basically building up to a hot tag to Charlotte Flair so she can put Peyton Royce in the figure eight and win with the tap out. AJ Styles out next on Miz TV where Miz cut a passion program saying he just wanted to be believed and accepted. And he thought this would lead to a face turn, but no, he just offered him a cameo in the Marine 7. And all the faces came out there setting up the main event street fight. This is the nicest street fight you'll ever see. Drew McIntyre out there doing his thing. Sheamus can get along with Drew. Drew can get along with Sheamus. Lee can get along with Drew. Drew can get along with Lee. But Sheamus and Lee can't get along. This leads to Lee tagging himself in, hitting the spirit bomb. And then Sheamus hitting a bro kick on Keith Lee to end a very subpar Monday. Overall, this Raw was really bad, really boring. Nothing much happened. They really got to do something better creative. No wonder why they're on record low ratings. This show was a mess. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe at True Heel Heat Wrestling for the latest and greatest in wrestling news. Once again, this has been Richie Moon, your uncharacteristic, unenthusiastic host just because of the quality that Raw has been for the last couple of weeks. But you can find me at The Richie Moon Show on all streaming podcast platforms. The Richie Moon Show on Instagram. Peace, love, and light. And I will see you next week for Monday Night Raw.